folk high school. That, that's a Danish, Swedish, Norwegian. So that was erected in around 1840s, 1850s, to allow adult people who had never gone to school have very little schooling in the adult age to improve their life. And all kinds of organizations, political organizations, unions, uh, teetotalist organizations, churches, had their own folk high schools where people could go for a year or two to learn about more what they wanted to do, more about being citizens, about law, legislation, and their rights, and so on. And that was the way of schooling for, for uh, politicians in the community and in the communities. And it was a very important role. We have uh, about 90 folk high schools in Sweden. And Denmark has about 60. And there's many, many people. And it's a very important. It's the university for people. You see, people couldn't go to do an exam and go to the regular university. They went to do this. But there were all cradles of democracy in the last century. And still, from even the descent. So that was we, where we were in such a place. And we did that because we felt there were no needs to change the approaches in our so we got, in, we were made into groups of four or five people. Then we got 24 hours to solve a problem. And we could use one hour telephone call and we could use the library of that little focus school up in the wilderness. And then 24 hours to analyze how the group had functioned and worked. And then we got a breather and did something else and get to make sure. And then once again, new grouping, new same thing. And that procedure was three times we did that. And we had things that we had never dealt with before how to reorganize the drainage in a fairly complicated agricultural setting. How to reorganize the fire brigade in a middle-sized Swedish city. I happen to have been expertise in that because I was in the fire brigade as a 15-year-old and I was called into the fire brigade in the north. And then to make a finance recommendation to a parliamentary committee. And so on. And so we had nothing uh, that, that we had to deal with otherwise. And I never experienced such a high emotion, in, intellectual high. Because it's absolutely amazing how, what we could solve, what we could do when we were working together. And we have the folk high school, of course. We have now 19 folk Swedish folk high schools that had year-long courses for mental handicap. Over 4,000 mentally handicapped in Sweden out of the known 40,000. 10% have uh, gone to focus schools. Uh, the same as blind and deaf and physically handicapped have gone to focus schools. And we've done it since 1967. So, so, and, 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 and that's, of course, strengths in your role as citizen in the community. And this enables, enables you to uh, handle it. And your courses in parliamentary techniques, how to care for your own jobs, how to elect your board, how to be a chairman, secretary, and treasurer, how to make decisions. And that is the important. 